Hi everyone. I hope you're having a very blessed day. Um, I decided to do an experiment today um, just to show you the difference again between diluted urine and concentrated urine. Now this sample right here was uh, held from about 10.30 a.m. till about 2.30 p.m. and I, I abstained from beverages and uh, coffee, tea, soda. This sample, on the other hand, was held for about an hour and a half, and I drank coffee, I drank tea, and I drank soda. And I also drank a little bit of water, just to kind of show you what the difference was. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take um, two ovulation test strips, and I've marked one of them with uh, a black dot. That's going to be the one that I dip into the diluted urine, and this one will be the concentrated urine. We just want to see if the dilution of urine will affect the test line. Now this may or may not come out positive, I don't know. Um, I made a video yesterday where I did a comparison between two different OPKs, a blue dye and a pink dye, and I'm going to see if <clears throat> today, just the with the dilution of urine itself, if that's going to affect the test lines. Again, um, concentrated and diluted. and. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so that is the diluted one. And let's do the concentrated one. Now, I've also held them in for about 10 seconds each. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because some people also say the length of time that you hold the dipstick in the urine can also affect the, uh, the line as well, the darkness or the opacity of the line. So essentially, we're just gonna, we're gonna see. So we're gonna test that theory. We're also going to test the dilution and the concentration and see if, even with that being said, both of the sticks being held for 10 seconds, if the one with the concentrated urine is gonna come out a little bit darker than the one with the diluted urine. Now, essentially, the way this works, we have this luteinizing hormone that's constantly running through our system, and just a day or two prior to ovulation, um, we get a surge. And the way that the sticks work is they detect an increase in this uh, luteinizing hormone, which we call an LH surge. Now, these are 40 MIU. Most of the test strips that you can find online, which are very inexpensive, are typically about 25 MIU, so they're a bit more sensitive because some people need a more sensitive stick. Me, on the other hand, I've been getting nothing but positive, so I requested to get a higher constant, higher MIU. With that being said, let me go ahead and show you this. This typically would look like a pregnancy test where a line is a line. Now typically you will not always, but more often than not have two lines. And to yield a positive, you want the test line to be equal to or darker than the control line. So even though right here, it's essentially seeing a line as a line. That's not true. I definitely want to wait. Go ahead and wait the full five minutes, five to ten minutes. Now we have. I have started a website. It is pianistickfreak.com. Um, be sure and check that out. We have lots of videos. Um, we do enjoy making these, and we have lots of informational tidbits and 
We have an Instagram, which is Piana Stick Freak. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram. Um, follow us on Twitter. It is twitter.com forward slash Piana Stick FRK for Freak or at Piana Stick FRK. And then also our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Piana Stick Freak. So if you enjoy these videos, um, you know, give us a like, like the video and subscribe to our YouTube. That would help me out tremendously if you'd like me to keep making these fun little videos and share the information. We really enjoy doing this. So let's see, it's been about two minutes now. Three minutes. Let me look at this one. Okay. So, so far they both appear to be positive, but so far, The one with the diluted urine is just a bit lighter. All right, let's see, it's probably a little harder to tell, but try to angle the camera a little bit. That's why I always like to wait the full 10 minutes to, to get the reading. Now I'm using OPK simply because I know I'm not pregnant right now, so it would not do me any good to, you know, use a pregnancy test because the control line is going to come up either way, and that just simply indicates that the test is working. Same thing with an OPK, but because I know that I have an LH surge, and a, apparently a bit of a high one, I know that the test line will be. Um, either dark or slightly less dark, so that's why I'm opting to use OPK. I, I, of course, will be doing some experiments, though, with some more home pregnancy tests. Got my little internet cheapies in the mail, and I have concocted some really good ones. So, Also, if you have any experimental ideas for home pregnancy tests, or even with OPKs, um, you know, comment uh, you know, ask us questions. You know, you can always go on my website and contact me there. Um, Twitter, Facebook, you can even email them P dash a, sorry, P on a stick freak and put dashes in between. It's P dash on dash a dash stick dash freak at hotmail.com. And you can even email us questions. And if you have any really neat ideas that you want me to try, you know, let me know. And I may do an experiment, so. Okay, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's see, it's, it's almost about, you know, it's about five minutes now. And with the naked eye, you can tell that the test line on this one is a bit darker than the test line on the one with the diluted urine. Now, although it, they both did come out positive, this is actually the same, whereas this is just a touch darker than that one. So this actually concludes for me that yes, the dilution of urine 
absolutely can alter the opacity of the test lines, whether it's an OPK or possibly even a home pregnancy test. I haven't tested this theory with a home pregnancy test, but I would imagine that the concentration, especially like if it's, if it's, um, if you're early in pregnancy. Now, if you're kind of late in pregnancy, I'm not sure that you would necessarily need to use first morning urine because you've been, you're so far along that you, you have a high, very high concentration of HCG in your system. With luteinizing hormone, it's best to do afternoon urine, um, say from like 2 to 8 p.m., and you want to do it at the same time every day. Now, I'm doing it a bit later today, but the pee in the cup was at 2.30. Yesterday, I did mine at 2. So that's actually what matters when you pee. This is about an hour and a half later. So... Technically, it's still at 2.30 that I'm doing this because it doesn't really matter about the time. It matters about the time you pee. So there we have it. Um, again, I wish that it was a little easier with the camera for y'all to see what I can see with the naked eye. But this line is a bit lighter than this line, the test line. So that concludes it for me. And again, this is the difference. As you can see, it's like night and day. And... This is about typically how long I would go, about an hour and a half to two hours in between, you know, the last time I had to use the restroom. So that's what it normally looks like. That's high concentration. That's no beverages, no dilution. That's a lot of dilution. So in case you want to know, but I also made a video just specifically about that. Because, yes, it's important. It's actually very important. So, again, um, thank you again for watching this video. If it's helped you, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. You know, share our videos. That's what they're made for. Um, check out our website. It's www.peeonastickfreak.com. Like us on Facebook, Pee on a Stick Freak. Like us, uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, Twitter, Pee on a Stick, FRK. And Instagram, Pee on a Stick Freak. So this is Ashley. I am signing off. These are the results. I wish because of this light on this camera that you could see it just a little bit better, but I can see it with the naked eye. And this line is definitely darker. Not by much, but it's darker, so... That's what the whole experiment was about. And they were both held the same length of time. So anyways, and obviously it is a positive result. So thanks again for watching. I'm signing off and I will talk to you soon.